Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Run Free and Strong. I'm Reto. It's Sunday, January 24th, 2021, and we're out for our Sunday long run in Waveney Park in Connecticut. And we're going to be testing the Garmin Forerunner 945, focusing specifically on GPS accuracy for distance and pace. We'll be running with the Garmin 945, the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus. So where were the 945 on the left wrist? The Phoenix 5 Plus on the right wrist. Hey guys, run done, 10 miles. Let's go take a look at the data, analyze it and see what we can find. There's some pretty interesting stuff I saw during the run. So let's see what it looks like. Be right back. So we managed to download the data from the Garmin 945 and the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus. Let's quickly review the key assumptions for the test comparison that we did. So we ran a three mile loop course in Waveney Park. It's a flat runnable groom trail. It's a mix of groom trail, grass fields, and some paved paths. About half is woods, but not dense. And about half is open space. We ran the three mile course multiple times to complete the 10 mile distance. And we used GPS and GLONASS tracking with one second interval recording. We've shared the summary from Garmin Connect and we can see outlined with the red box. The distance for the 945 was 10.01 miles, time of an hour, 29 minutes, 23 seconds, so average pace of eight minutes, 56 per mile. Compared to the Phoenix 5 Plus, 9.94 miles in an hour, 29 minutes, 22 seconds. So we stopped the two watches at the same time with an average pace of nine minutes per mile for the Phoenix 5 Plus. So the Phoenix 5 Plus came up about 0.07 miles short of the 945, which equates to about 400 feet or 120 meters. While the difference in distance between the two watches is not significant, there is a difference and it results in a different pace per mile. So we do need to consider that. Obviously for anything shorter than 10 miles, the difference is even less and anything longer than 10 miles, it's more. Comparing the pace data between the Garmin 945 and the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus, we do see a significant difference. The 945, the pace generally ranges in a two minute band between eight minutes per mile and 10 minutes per mile. Whereas for the Phoenix 5 Plus, that band expands from probably eight minutes to about 11 minutes. And there are quite a few spikes and dips there's one dip that is at five and three quarter miles because I had to make a pit stop. I stopped both watches and restarted both watches. But other than that, the Phoenix 5 Plus shows quite a bit of variation in the pace. One thing we mentioned in both of our previous videos, looking at the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro and the Phoenix 5 Plus is a recommendation to not rely on pace while we're running but instead to look at heart rate or some other metric as a proxy for our effort and intensity during the run. And of course, with the heart rate, which we'll get to next, we should use a chest strap to obtain accurate heart rate readings. The third comparison we wanted to show is a heart rate comparison between the Garmin 945 using the optical heart rate sensor on the wrist and Pairing the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus with the Garmin HRM Pro chest strap. The chart at the top is just a Garmin 945 with the optical heart rate sensor, whereas the chart on the bottom is based on the HRM Pro chest strap, which overrides the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus optical heart rate sensor. And we can see the top chart, the heart rate is higher then on the bottom, so the range is between 160 and 185 beats per minute with the average heart rate about at 171 beats per minute. We again see the dip there at five and three quarter miles where I had to make a pit stop. Generally though, the optical heart rate sensor with the 945, there's a lot more variation. If we look at the bottom chart, the chest strap shows a heart rate range of 150 to 175 at an average heart rate of 159 beats per minute. So comparing the optical heart rate sensor on wrist versus a Garmin HRM Pro chest strap, we see a difference both in the average heart rate and the range of about 10 to 12 beats per minute, which is significant. 
And one of the key takeaways here is if we are training with heart rate zones and relying on a optical heart rate sensor on wrist, we're probably training in the wrong zones, question mark. And we would highly recommend investing about $100 to buy a chest strap and pairing that with a GPS watch to ensure that we have accurate heart rate data and we are training in the correct zones. So all in all, the Garmin 945 appears to be more accurate and more reliable than the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus. Having tested the Phoenix 6 Pro as well, I would say the same thing applies to the Phoenix 6 Pro. So with the limited testing that we have done, the results are consistent with what fitness tech analysts are saying about the Garmin 945 being the most accurate and most reliable of the Garmin GPS watches. The next question is, why buy a 945 versus a Phoenix 5 Plus or even a Phoenix 6 Pro? And what were some of the key differences? I have compared the 945 to the latest and greatest Phoenix 6 Pro. This is not a comprehensive review, not a comprehensive feature comparison. And this is from the perspective of a trail and ultra runner. So we are ignoring a lot of the other sports and fitness activities that these watches support. So it's a fairly narrow lens. The Garmin 945 retails for about $100 less than the Phoenix 6 Pro. Size is comparable. The display size of the Garmin 945 is slightly smaller and the screen resolution is slightly lower. Not a big deal. With the latest firmware upgrade, it now also supports six data fields. The weight of the 945 at 50 grams is substantially less than the Phoenix 6 Pro at 83 grams. That is one of the key differentiators. The 945 is also one millimeter thinner than the Phoenix 6 Pro. Both the Phoenix 5 Plus and the Phoenix 6 Pro are heavier, bulkier, and tend to move around a little bit on the wrist and be less comfortable. The Garmin 945 has a plastic housing and a Corning Gorilla glass lens, whereas the Phoenix 6 Pro and the Phoenix 5 Plus have a metal housing and the same Corning Gorilla glass lens. The battery life is comparable, 40 hours on GPS only or 36 hours when combining GPS with GLONASS. The 945 matches the Phoenix 6 Pro when it comes to full high-res color maps, turn-by-turn -turn navigation, and live tracking with location context. Training load focus, same. Heat and altitude acclimation, same. Revamped VO2 max metrics now includes heat and acclimation, same for both. Climb Pro, same for both. Widget at a glance, same for both. Both have user interface improvements that Garmin continues to roll out when it does major firmware upgrades. And what I also find helpful is the 945 now allows disabling of the training status when injured or taking a break, so we're not deep training. Let's recap. In the September 2020 video, I explained why I returned to Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro after testing. I then gave it another shot, bought a Phoenix 5 Plus because I heard it was more accurate. Tested that. That video came out in mid-January 2021. Results were very similar to the Phoenix 6 Pro. Not very satisfied. And give it one last shot with the 945. So the next step for me is to retire my Garmin 235. To sell my Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus, the Garmin 945 will become my go-to watch going forward. I hope you found the video useful, and if you did, I would appreciate it if you give it a big thumbs up. Smash that like button, it'll help YouTube show it to other people that may be interested. Leave me a comment below with any questions or concerns you have. And if you are new to this channel, I would really appreciate if you consider subscribing to follow my journey. Thanks very much, and see you in the next one.